but what I will say is, I'm a survivor, I'm not going to give up, <laughs> I'll keep on fighting, no, no, survival. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies, look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Backing out in parking lot scares my life. There's always someone around acting a fool. Okay. Hey, hey. Watch out for the cart guy. Watch out for the grandma. Watch out for the motherfucking teen who just got their license. Who don't know what they're doing. Just saw a person parked like that. Took up two spaces. Really backed it in. Took five minutes. Looked like you were 17. Didn't know what you were doing. How did you pass your test? I don't know. I think that's to myself every day when I'm driving. We got the grub going up on a Tuesday. Cheap tacos today, I ain't choosing. Grub going up. The grub go, oh, there's a fucking huge line, of course, because it's Choco Tuesday at 5 shirty PMs. If y'all may have not already guessed by that intro, it is Taco Tuesday at taco time i'm out in the boat doing some aa runs little groceries things like this we'll have a little discussion about it as we crunch munch on some half moon shell hard tacos okay i'm gonna get maybe i'm gonna get a half dozen i'm gonna get a nice six i'm really gonna give you the biz on a nice little dinner snack now it's not gonna be crazy but six is just a nice little something to satisfy you know don't get that greasy gullet that you got to drive around with and do stuff with still. Just enough to crunch your sensation, you know? You didn't get any hot sauce and my hot sauce, what you telling me? That's what you telling me? You didn't get no hot sauce and no mild sauce? I tell you what, I'm going to go in the back. If it says you can get no hot sauce and mild sauce, I go in my pocket, pay you back my money, my dollar. Ooh, we're on deck, almost up the bat, on deck, almost up the bat, on deck, almost up the bat, on deck. Got a special case ahead here. Hey, can I just get six hard shell tacos and uh, Maxi Deluxe beef tacos? All right, we parked. Bag is secured. They definitely gave me all the mild sauce. What you telling me? <laughs> Damn. Zooked. I'm zooked right now. God zooks. You ain't getting no hot sauce and no mild sauce. What you telling me? <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, what you telling me? How do we make a thumbnail for this? I never know. I never truly know. Check me out. Bread, bread. Come on now, check me out. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so I'm out and about. I was grocery shopping for stuff. You guys know I came equipped to dip. I got my own sour cream. I ain't paying those restaurant quality prices for a little nubbin of sour cream in a cup. We're going $2.99 for the full-fledged barrel. Not seen. 14%. Absolutely crucial. Don't play with me otherwise. Okay, boom. Here we go. The crunchy hard shell tacos. That's what we got to do off top. What we also got to do is we got to fork on some sour crez. <laughs> Whatever that means. And they truly did. They hooked up the mild sauce. Fuck. All right. A little hot sauce. Okay, first things first, crunchy taco. Let's get it. Mm -hmm. Risky vehicle treats. Necessary though. When it's Tuesday, you gotta get them while they're cheap. Still not even that cheap. Got six. And a fries deluxe. 20 bucks. Not too bad. Speaking of that fries deluxe, here it is. Ranchero, sour cream, beef, cheese, and we gotta put our own mild sauce on there, of course. Bring in our sour cream and fork. 
bring you in for a little up close and personal. Baitsky. Tater tots. You guys already know. One of my faves. Also one of my faves. What I was just saying in that intro. <laughs> that's uh it's really old, but on YouTube there's if you type in like comedian Denzel Washington impression, <laughs> there's just one dude. Can't remember his name for the life of me, but I've religiously watched it over the years. And his Denzel is way too good. And that's a skit. He's like talking about taking a placing a takeout order at a, at a restaurant, and Denzel own, owns the joint. And he goes in his bag, and he didn't get his his hot sauce, his mild sauce. What you telling me? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I asked for the manager, and the manager came out, and it was Denzel, and he came at me, you know, not nice, but like training day, like just like this. And then he goes into the spiel about the hot sauce and mild sauce. So if you're into impressions, like I am, I love watching impressions, go check that one out. Top notch. Just like this was. Absolutely wolfed. And looky, looky what the cat dragged in. We're back, baby. The coldest water. I do still use this, like, in my daily life. In the winter, not so much. Because I have a juvenile mouth and I don't keep, like, hot beverages. But coming up now that it's spring, summer, I still use it. It's a very uh, legitimate bottle. Long story why I don't have it in my videos anymore all the time. But I still do have the link down below. And I still do uh, get like monetary kickbacks if you guys buy through that link. So if you still want to or do, thank you. Much appreciated. <clears throat> and actually the other day I did get a payout from them. Just a little guy. But uh, I think Dustin Seneke. Shout out Dustin Seneke. Big time supporter of the channel. But he came through and put a nice order in with the coldest. So I got a nice little kickback from that. Okay, as you'll see, I took the time here to dress this one properly, front to back, in its evening gown, ready for the ball, ready for me to take it all. This one should be legit. Mmm. Nice little beef stack in there. That's what's up. Once again, shout out the workers there. They get murdered on Tuesday. It's the most, one of the most popular like daily deal spots in the city because on our local station all day they advertise head on down to taco time and da -da -da, taco Tuesday something like two tacos for $2.99 blah, blah 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 so all day people are driving around or at work or whatever, get off work, and they're just 
ready to crush. So those workers get murdered. And they have to deal with people like the knucklehead that was in front of me. When you pull up and it's busy, be ready to order. person in front of me was hooing and hawing and umming and on questions on questions looking at like all the people in the vehicle having like a whole ass banter like argument on the speaker it's just ridiculous Y'all know me. <laughs> I'm a huge etiquette guy in many arenas. Drive through being a passion point. <laughs> Supermaster. I'm going left instead. Why? So, yeah, one of the main ass reasons I'm out and about is that I, uh, I had to go on a crazy wild goose chase to procure ingredients for a uh, subscriber sponsored request, but it's like very international foods list. So I've just been on like a hunt today trying to find these items in many different locations. And it's been quite the mission. I've been to Five different spots. And right before this, at the fifth one, I finally got the last ingredient. <laughs> These, uh, international cuisine style videos forced me to go down aisles and really like bust out my spectacles and just like where is this stuff like i don't recognize the label <laughs> not things that i usually work with and really while i'm doing it the whole time just makes me realize exactly how whitewashed my whole life has been. Outside of living in Toronto, in Toronto I, met, I learned a bunch more about culture and cultural dishes in that melting pot, but personally myself, I never worked with a lot of the uh, ingredients, spices, all those types of things. So they're still like kind of foreign to me, even though I've like tried the dishes and stuff along the way sometimes here and there, living down there. But just me, myself cooking, I, I don't like frequent them. So it's a bit of a mesh to figure it out. It takes fucking 30 30 vision in those aisles because. You know how labels like that you know like just jump out at you because you've just seen them so many times but in these aisles it's like uh it's just foreign languages to my eyes and while i'm screaming in the tone of our lady peace uh i just have to say this about my last truck bang video is i learned one thing's for sure is y'all are passionate about tlc and aren't standing destiny's child i could tell you that and I'm sorry for my, you know, shortcomings and my knowingness of the band name or girl group or whatever you want to call it. 
call it, whatever it was. And the funniest thing about that is in that video, I cut out the part where I said, or wait, I think it was TLC. And then in my head when I was editing, I'm like, nah, it's Destiny's Child. Should have Googled him, <laughs> but I didn't. But y'all came for me. Mm-mm, mm-mm, back it. Mm-mm. How dare you? It's TLC. Fair enough. I think they're the cooler group. Lisa, Le RIP Lisa Left Eye Lopez. Shout out Chili. I can't front that I know what T means. I don't know her name. But whatever it is. Sorry for the dis disrespect. But what I will say is. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. <laughs> I'll keep on fighting. No, no, survival. Now that is some dust and shock. Right? Look at me. Look at me go. I think maybe y'all were even a little more offended. <laughs> When I wrote in the updates, I wrote update. <laughs> TLC, not Dash's job. Still the same shit, no? And y'all didn't like that either. But like, the way I'm thinking about it is like, Bashy Boys, NSYNC, 98 Degrees. It's like, aren't they all iterations of the same shit? Can you give me, can you give me that? <laughs> You just give me that rep. It's a little pass. Come on. I know you feel it in your heart of hearts to know that. Pretty much. Same same pot. Same bowl of stew. Same pot of party rice. I'm not gonna give up, keep on survival. <coughs> oh. All right, I was on the fence, but we're gonna do it. Final one, crush mode. Oh yeah, I'll tell you that. Really crush the smokes on that one there, bud. Fun fact, secret time, little admission on my part about Survivor Destiny's Child. <laughs> In grade six. When I got my first MP MP3 player, And we had uh, LimeWire or Kaza. I was doing a little song perusing. And back then it was kind of like, take what you could get. So I downloaded Survivor by Destiny's Child. I tell you what. That shit slapped. I loved it. It was so motivating. And that is when I first introduced snowboarding with music. And I remember I went out one day snowboarding and I had like all this Eminem and like Snoop Dogg on my MP3, but I have Survivor by Dash and Shaw. And I one song replayed that shit all fucking day snowboarding to it because it was so hype.
I remember that day so vividly. And I was just ripping. <laughs> and weirdly, like, the, the music, I swear, enhanced my abilities. It's like the right song. Like having the right song in the gym or the right song running or whatever. Like the right song snowboarding. It just gives you a different vibe, different level of confidence, different bop. And all day I just kept repeating it, repeating it, repeating it, repeating. So me and Yance had our time together that day. And it was actually so fun. So I do, uh, I did out of time, love myself some DC destiny. Yeah. All right, truly surprised. I actually crushed all that. I thought I was going to have to tap out at five tacos there. Even at four, I was kind of like, I don't know where this is going. But I was able to mash, able to crush. It was delicious. Very, very good. Uh, a little hyper one today. I've sipped a few Red Bulls here. So uh, feeling myself a little bit. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.